I'm Gavin from Hurley's Fly Fishing and welcome to another episode of On The Fly. Today we're with Matty from Iceland uh, Fishing Guides on one of the most famous rivers in Iceland. It's called the Meri Isk... Mirakvisk. And I still can't pronounce it right. I just try... Iceland's got about 67 letters in the alphabet and they try and use every one in every uh, river name. So uh, I've given up. I try and get the first three letters right and Matty will uh, fix me up appropriately. Now we're going to have some salmon in this river, isn't it, that come up from the sea? Yes, yeah. The, this is actually uh, almost the top of the river. Sure. Uh, these salmon uh, migrated uh, a month and two months ago. Oh yeah. So they are sitting here waiting for spawning. Cool. So we're going to slip one of these little flies in front of him and annoy him? Exactly. Because they essentially don't eat that much now, do they? They don't eat at all and they cannot digest any food. They yeah. don't have any stomach acids uh, when they when they come into the fresh water. Sure. So I think it's all about uh, a reflex since they were small and they were sure. eating. Or just you have to piss them off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That'll work too. So well, I'm pretty good at that. So yeah. that should work out all right. That's good. So the fly we're going to use is a... Sunray Shadow. Sunray Shadow. It's a fish skull sunray. Yeah, and that's a little bit different to what we would have been used to. That's a tube fly. So you thread the line through like a little tube and then you tie on a, a treble on the back of it. Uh, and what's the benefit of having a tube fly rather? The good thing is that when, uh, when the uh, uh, hook breaks, you just exchange it. You don't need to worry about, uh, you know, you can still use the fly. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's not sharp, you know. If the hook is rusty, yes. you just put a new Do one on. Yeah. Cool. And an eight weight, we need an eight weight's probably a bit better because some of these fish can get yeah, the biggest, pretty big. The biggest fish landed uh, from this pool this year is 97 centimeters. Yeah, right. That's about a 18, 20 pound salmon. Cool. So you need a bit of fighting power. Yeah. So they generally take. In the corner there, the current hits the bank and yep. it starts going. They take in that corner, yeah. but they also, they can also be on the slack water here after the current starts kind of moving back towards this point. Yeah. So you want to just throw it. Cast there. Yeah, and just let it And then just have it And then tight. you do these long, slow strips. And that way, it'll be much easier for you when you get a take to just stop, wait until it pulls your line away. And, and then go. Yeah. yeah. So the, if you're doing like this and the take, yeah. that's a... Yeah. So if you just do long, slow strips, yep. 
You should be able just to keep in touch with yeah. it. Yeah. So that's one of the things that Matty said. Whatever you do, don't do a trout strike, which is lifted right up, or a, or a bonefish strike, which is stripped straight away. We've got a. He's got to take it. Let him take it. Turn, swim downstream, tighten the rod, and then do that. It's about three seconds. Yeah. Three seconds of time. Yeah. Good luck. We'll see how that goes. You know, like uh, I'm trying to tell myself not to strike already, but it's going to be hard. We'll see. Yep. Yeah, I haven't caught one yet. And how long does this normally take? <laughs> Two or three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And Iceland fishing's a little bit different to back home in that somebody always owns the, the rivers and the waterways. Yeah, so all the rivers are privately owned. So, uh, yeah, it's the farmers that own the land, yep. that own the river as well. So, Everything is managed privately and supply and demand controls. Uh, yes, yeah. yeah. And this river is totally catch and release. Yeah, well, uh, you can keep a brown trout or two to eat in the yep. lodge, but the salmon is totally catch and release. And so fly, changing flies will make a difference. Yep, yep. You know, fly and presentation, you know, for some... Well, this presentation is exceptional. What are you yeah. talking about there, you know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've never seen such <laughs> pure talent before. Thanks, mate. Thanks, yeah. mate. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, for some reason, uh, you know, one fly excites them yep. more today than, you know, another day. Yeah. So weight and size and everything matters. One more cast with this fly. Yep. Make it count. Yep. <laughs> One, no, eh? Yeah. That's not a bad bycatch, no. is it? You know, no, to, it's lovely. Yeah. Absolutely lovely. I just can't get over the, the colours. They're just so deep yeah. and golden. Beautiful. And they're all different. We, we get like our browns in most parts of Australia are a lot lighter. And then the Tassie ones are very gold like this. Oh, yeah. And obviously, uh, yeah, nice one. Beautiful again, mate. Well done. <laughs> Stunning again. <laughs> well done. Well done. Nice. G'day. I'm Gavin from Hurley's Fly Fishing. We specialise in guided tours throughout Victoria, but we also take groups to Alaska, Chile, Bone Fishing Christmas Island, and our most popular one, New Zealand. So if that's where you want to go, come in and see us at our stores in Bentley and Lumsden. Because they don't go, grow massive here, your browns, or? In this river, the biggest one we have uh, had is 70 centimetres. Oh, yep. So, but most of them are about this size. Yeah. That's a good three, three pound for sure, three for sure. Pound, yeah. yeah. There you go. Beautiful. Again, it's going to be hard to see, but just very yellow underneath, deep browns, lovely spots, and those red little marks on them there. Just a beautiful fish. We better put him back, mate. Yeah. Grow bigger. Exactly. Oh, plenty of go, he's good. Yeah. Well done. Well done. Wait. Yep. Yes. Nice one. It's a weed fish. We've got some of those in Australia as well. Do you? Yeah. Same kind? Oh, uh, yeah, not as big as that one though, oh. but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you release your weed fish as well? Yes, yeah. all of them. Yeah. Well, that was pretty cool, just uh, the start of the morning. And um, although we didn't get our salmon, you know, we've got some lovely browns, which are really cool in, in a place like this. I mean, Iceland is somewhere that everybody wants to go for fly fishing and uh, 
to get a salmon, I'm just so excited. I'm like a little kid who just wants the toy that he wants and he's, yeah, desperate to get it. So, uh, yeah, even though we didn't get it, we got some lovely browns, but hopefully the next pool, we can hook up to a salmon. Oh, see that fish? The what, just yep. in the middle? Yep. Just in front of it? Yep, right in front of it. Like that? Actually come back a little bit here? Just swing it in front, yeah? Yeah, we'll change, change the fly, we'll go a little bit heavier. Yep. <laughs> yeah, nice. There we go. <laughs> oh, landed himself. Yep, yep. <laughs> Not anymore. No. I can, with, with an eight weight, bring him back into that. Yep, yep. Okay. Got him? All right. Now, there you go. That was, uh, well, looking for salmon on the other side, and uh, Maddie with good eyes, good glasses, saw a lovely brown, and uh, he ducked over and, and woofed down that salmon fly, and aggressive to that fly, wasn't it? He wanted to eat. That's beautiful, yeah, yep. Gave him a fly, mate. Well done. <laughs> well done. Yeah. Successful brown trout fishing. Yeah, exactly, that's right, that's right. <laughs> All right, so just cast backhand upstream, eh? Yep. Get in contact with it right away. Yeah. <laughs> like, just like that? Yep, that's perfect. And then? Yeah, and then just lift it as it gets into the shallows so. here. Oh yeah. Yeah, slowly. Just, just take it easy. Okay. Alright. Just so you can keep it away from yep. that. The, the, around they, there. They know it. Uh, you've got to go further. Right. They know it, you know. All yeah. Stuff. Oh good. Oh that's that's massive. Oh. That looks like uh, with an eight weight. Oh, yeah, that's. Is it going down? Yeah. Fully it. It cannot go down. We can't get it? No. Yeah, take it easy. Let's get it to stop somewhere there. Yep. Off, 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 off. And there you go. I'm not sure what to expect there. The power in that thing was just incredible, but the size of it, um, I don't know, I, I, I just thought the whole like big trout, that's not like a big trout, that's like a, a cobia or a shark, that's massive. Yeah, that was a bit, that was a bit of a wake up call, Matty, that yeah. was, uh, yeah. That's what we're after. <laughs> you got the best part. Well, that's right, right. Uh, that's right. That was nice. was. That was good. Next one we'll, yeah. we'll get it out of the water. Exactly. <laughs> was good. Look cast from here, you get a nicer swing over this, just with a shorter bit. You can stay away from that current, you can let yep. it swing. Yep, shorter way, like just there. Yeah, that's fine. Yep. Mend and mend and mend. Th that way? Yep. yep. And then strip it. Okay, let's strip it all the way. Yep. 
I didn't strike. Did, no, it's okay. It didn't hit it. Keep, keep stripping. Keep stripping. Make it interesting again. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Let's do that again. <laughs> do it. Yeah. yeah. It's skating perfectly. Yeah. I just hold it up. There you go. Maybe do one long strip here now, just to keep it tight. Wait. As long as it's swinging and it's skating, just leave it be. But yep. as soon as it stops. Matty had me trying this and trying that. About the only thing we hadn't tried was an earthworm under a bubble float, but that probably mightn't be far away. So I was getting pretty desperate to catch one of these Icelandic Atlantic salmon. And Matty said, what would I be willing to risk? And I looked at him and I said, everything. But I didn't expect him to take that literally. That's gangster. That's yeah. gangster what you're doing there. Exactly. Now with Matty egging me on, at the time I felt pretty confident. But when I stop and think about it, it had been raining on 20 metres on a sheer cliff into a fast flowing, freezing river, trying to catch a fish half as big as me uh, on a ledge no wider than my foot. And you go, what could possibly go wrong? You know, really, what could possibly go wrong? So we're on beat 28, Stockett, which is uh, where I lost that one this morning where he got off and we had a bit of a cry after, well I had a cry anyway, but we've come back now on a different angle and we're going to try and drift these these fly underneath, so uh, Matty thinks it's, there's going to be quite a few big fish in there and I said what do we do after he hooked it, he said let's, one thing at a time Gavin, one thing at a time, so we'll see how we go. Alright, so that'll get it to sink down and then just, and that'll just swing it. Oh, he's chasing it. Man. That was nice. He was big. Yep. Now the excitement there is this monster Atlantic salmon comes out from underneath that ledge and looks at the fly and then turns away without eating it. Now is it just the height that makes that fish look massive? No, it's a big fish. Yeah. You know, that's a... That's... It's a huge fish. Yeah. You can see the length of that. You can see the size of that tail. <laughs> Massive. Yeah. Uh, same again. And don't strike. Particularly, that's hard when you can see it. Well. He's got it. Yes. Oh, beauty. Yeah. You're at an advantage. I am at an advantage. Do you mind staying there? I, I'm, I'm happy here. Down? I'm happy here for the minute. Okay, I'm gonna go. And I'll just, yep, do that. Um. Now, you couldn't see up there because we couldn't convince the cameraman to come and hang off this ledge with me. <laughs> I'm not sure which is the, the original fish, but we've dropped that down there and this monster, literally a monster, and it, and it could just be the height I'm at, he, he just, yeah, come up to chase it and he seriously looked like a shark. He was just massive. And then this one uh, changed the fly. This one's come out and it sort of worked out pretty well. Now I've got the stalker current in an eight weight, which is quite a powerful rod, but at the same time, these fish are massive, and that's just incredible power. But this fish, he looks about four foot long. Truth be known, he's probably, I don't know, three foot long, but there's just incredible power. And while I'm up here, um, Evidence in my favour, I'm pulling up against him. He'll just be fighting into the current. Something. But this is just extraordinary. This is why you come to Iceland. They are amazing. This is incredible. And I was literally like a little kid. I was dying to catch one of these fish. This is really cool. <laughs> uh, and you're sort of expecting to catch one every cast and you're trying different things and uh, to get it to take is awesome. And to come back to the spot where we'd hooked and lost that one, that makes it all the more enjoyable. But everywhere you look around, you know, like Iceland is just an amazing place. I mean, you couldn't fish in a more incredible country, like just the mountains, the land, the volcanoes, the lava, just the way uh, Iceland people are, they're, they're wonderful people, and the fishing's extraordinary. Yep. Sure, here she got. 
Now I'll just work her up in a second. A big fish. I'll keep it coming. We got it. Well, there you go. <laughs> oh, that is gold. Absolute gold. I am. I'm gonna. I'm gonna clamber up here like a uh, a mountain climber, and I'm gonna get down there and have a good old look at that. That's awesome. Absolutely awesome. Yep. Here we are, we're just coming down to get her. Uh, we, hang on, we, we've left the, uh, the wimpy cameraman up the top. And we've come down, but that's a beautiful fish mate, isn't she? Wow, hey? That's incredible. Whoa. Oh yeah, that's massive. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Wow. That is absolute Atlantic salmon gold, that one, mate. Yep. That's beautiful. Nice female, she's gonna do her part. Yeah? yeah. Oh yeah. Thank you, girl. How's that one? Is that alright? Yes. Tell you that's good. Alright. Wow. Absolutely amazing. And I'll uh, we better get her back in. That's heavy. And you estimated how big? 14 pounds. Easy, yeah, that's easy. 12 to 14 pounds. 14. Never go under, mate. Never go always up. But that's a beauty. But we better get her back in and let her do what she's come up here to do. But uh, that's pretty good. All these fish um, with Maddie are all released so that they can do what they've come up here to do and look after it for the future. So that's the beauty of a, a fishery like this. There's no banging them on the head and showing them off. She's good to go. We want them to swim out of the hands, Maddie. Yep. That's the go. Yep. Once she swims. Yep. She's got a little bit of kick yep. and she's good. Oh, and that's massive. And it is, as soon as they get in that clear water, they look massive. That is absolute gold. And that's what you come to Iceland for. This is just the most amazing feeling when it has been hard as well. It's not like just see it, throw it, and, and that takes it. You've really got to work hard. And when things don't work well, you rely on a good guide. Like Maddie changes flies non-stop until you get something that's going to work. And then it's, <coughs> I'm lost for words. It's just awesome, I'm not going to cry just awesome when they get them to take and that power and to get it to put back and you know it's going to do what it came up here to do and you haven't really heard it and you've had a lot of fun doing it i love this place i just love this place yeah well there you go we have always a, a tradition that if we get i mean it's normally trout but hey we don't catch many over that magical figure so uh, we've introduced it to something like trout which is like that Atlantic salmon but anything over that magical 10 pound have a special uh, little flask that we get to have a couple of sips of uh, but a magical fish to catch in in this pristine environment and uh, we have a, a couple of swigs just to celebrate which is just beautiful and to celebrate not falling down that uh, gorge there too with the uh, the rope ladder Beautiful.